OSHA's revamping of chemical labels, Hazcom 2012, is here. But do you need to label a portable container? I'll tell you next. Hello, I'm Dan Clark with The Safety Brief. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with health and safety hazards in today's demanding construction and industrial work sites, complements of creative safety supply. Everyone likes to save some green. Slice 10% off your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10. HAZCOM 2012, the hazard communication standard from OSHA and the alignment with the globally harmonized system, GHS, is here. It standardizes chemical warning labels. Portable containers are part of it. What is a portable container? It's an unlabeled container. A hazardous chemical is transferred to it from a labeled container. This portable container is intended only for the immediate use of the employee who performs the transfer. No label is required for this container in the workplace. The term immediate use is very strict for OSHA. It means that the hazardous chemical will be under the control of and used only by the person who transfers it from a labeled container and only within the work shift in which it's transferred. When is it not a portable container? If the container will be used by more than one person, if the container will be used for more than one shift, it is not a portable container. Then what? This container used by others or for more than one shift requires a workplace label. If the original container has a pictogram on it, then the same pictogram must be on the workplace label. But HCS 2012 says that pictogram does not need to have a red border. It can be a black border. You can even take a picture of the label on the original container, print it, and use that as the workplace label. The workplace label, according to the HCS 2012 standard, needs the product identifier, the words, pictures, symbols, or combination thereof, which provide at least general information regarding the hazards of the chemical. That's all for this episode, Portable Containers in HAZCOM 2012. Join me again for more ways to stay safety compliant in today's always changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, this is a service of Creative Safety Supply. Save 10% on your entire order at creativesafetysupply.com with coupon code BIG10.